in just two and a half weeks, we have had an exceptional 27 events, an unbelievable $4,624,650 awarded in prize money, and two new WPT 500 title winners. Our WPT 500 journey has come to its cool conclusion. It took eight whole days from start to finish of WPT 500 knockout action, accumulating in 2,601 entries, totaling a massive $1.3 million prize pool. Pound for pound, the final table had a tough lineup, but the knockouts were pretty rapidos from the start, with three players caught cold in the first three hands alone. We were left heads up with our start of the day, two biggest stacks. Armin Rezai led with a 3-1 to one chip lead, which he soon transformed into a 10-1. to one. This left David Lopez Lesa on the ropes when he jammed 11 big blinds with 10 fort suited and ran into Rezai's ace jack suited. Lopez bows out in second place, boosting his bankroll with the first six-figure payout of the event of $101,523. Congratulations, David. And of course, this leaves us with a knockout celebration for our newest WPT 500 knockout champion, Armin Rezai, who takes home the trophy and $140,000. Now, the mini version of our WPT 500 knockout event, the Super 50, drew in a crazy 9,046 total entries, which is just poo, and a testament to how awesome this event really was. This meant that a prize pool of $452,300 was created, which for a modest buy of 55 bucks really is something to shout about. And taking home the lion's share of the prize money was Dutchman Floyd Rosner, who walks away with $40,852. Well, that concludes our WPT 500 Festival ride. And oh, what a ride it has been. Thank you so much for taking part in this last fortnight, for playing and spectating. We really hope that you've enjoyed it just as much as we did. And if you're sad that it's all over, well, all I can say is both be. Because the WPT and Party Poker will be back collaborating again very soon.